A batting masterclass from skipper Haley Matthews propelled the West Indies women to a world record chase in the second T20 international against Australia at North Sydney Oval on Monday. Matthews smashed 132 of 64 deliveries to lead the Caribbean women to 213 for three to beat world champions Australia by seven wickets with one ball to spare in the highest scoring women's T20 international in history. Batting first, the Aussies rallied from 2 for 7 to 212 for 6 in their 20 overs. They were led by 70 from Elise Perry and Phoebe Litchfield, the 20-year-old, who scored the joint fastest women's T20 international half century, which came off 18 deliveries. She ended on 52 from 19. Matthews was the best with the ball for the Windies women, grabbing 3 for 36, while Shamelia Connell took 2 for 35. In reply, Stefani Taylor scored 59, combining with Matthews for a record partnership of 164 before Chanel Henry and Shemaine Campbell scored nine of the final over to take the Windies women home with one ball to spare. Let's now hear first from the Aussie captain, Alyssa Healy. Yeah, unbelievable knock by Haley. I mean, this, uh, we dropped her a few times, but I mean, um, there's not much more we can do to, to try and restrain her, so um, fair play to her, but... Um, yeah, on we go. I think uh, at the moment, the way that she's striking the ball, we've just got to hang on to the chances when they come, when she when she slips up. But look, we'll, we'll look at it and we'll reassess and um, hopefully just take away some of the room she's been able to create. Oh, 100%. I mean, you saw it tonight. We were two for seven and we made 212. So there's some really good things that's happening within our group. And we knew that um, this, uh, this new era of T20 cricket, that people are beating everyone and we were pre prepared to put everything on the line to lose, um, to win games of cricket, potentially losing games of cricket. So... Um, look, that's what happened tonight. We got outplayed, but um, we'll come back bigger and better in Brisbane. Yeah, the Aussie captain, Alyssa Healy. Now, Haley Matthews, who won her seventh consecutive Player of the Match award, attributes her recent success to her new role. I think I've just probably learned a bit more about myself and my batting, um, the areas that I want to access and my strengths, and it's been working really well for me. So you're backing yourself in. Has there been a change in mindset at all? I think just trying to be as positive as possible. I think obviously the leadership of the team has really made me take a lot more responsibility at the top of the order and it's brought about some runs with it. Obviously last game was a bit tough for us with the ball, but we backed the bowlers to just come back today. Um, look at what they didn't do so well last game. And I think you saw from our start today how the girls were right on the mark and that's all we could really ask for. Um, I'm so proud of every one of them in there for coming back out here today and getting the job done and yeah, happy to get over the line. Yeah, Lance and Mariah, the Australians winning the first T20 International on Saturday night into early Sunday morning comfortably and the West Indies rebounding brilliantly in the second T20 to win by seven wickets, a victory set up by Stefani Taylor and Hayley Matthews. Yeah, I love what Hayley Matthews said just now. The leadership of the team has helped her to become more responsible and she has demonstrated that with her own performance this team because we've seen the first match 99 not out i felt that one for her i really wanted her to get that century but you know she let that one go and she decided to go back for that century in the second match 132 off 64 balls and if that was not enough for Haley matthews she she at the, remember she they bowled first she took three for 36 so what I'm seeing here is a young player that has been given responsibility and has taken those um, that responsibility with both hands. And for me, I'm very, very impressed because we've seen people elevated to that captaincy role and their performances have faltered. If it's anything, the captaincy role appeared as a burden to them. Haley Matthews speaking about being very, very positive and I think that is exactly what we're seeing in her game taking that leadership role, recognizing that, you know, she's in a team where she has to step up or nothing. And she's been doing that with both bat and ball. Yeah, and you know, at the top of the show, Ricardo referenced their outstanding performance today, Stefani Taylor, um, Haley Matthews combination for the 2016 World Cup title success. And we saw that um, reenactment today. It was really a pleasure to see them both at the innings, 174 for the second wicket, um, a West Indies record for any wicket and outstanding there. You just said, uh, Mariah, that 
um, Haley is, is a young player, still young, but she's experienced because she debuted at 16, which means that she, means she has nine years of international cricket under her belt at the moment. And she's showing a lot of maturity and it was really a pleasure to watch them back this morning. And just some glimpses of Stefani Taylor, you know, rolling back the years and playing some good shots as well. But it just reminds us that for this transitioning West Indies team to succeed, the key players who are world-class players have to perform yeah. and that's what we saw today yeah that's very much what we saw today and i want to look at taylor matthews quickly um lance and mariah because when i started on this show as a presenter one of the points i made was that Haley matthews was not producing at the level that she is capable of now Haley matthews in t20 international cricket is averaging 23.7 with the bat now this is a player who is capable of averaging close to 50 if not beyond 50 but what she has produced in 2023 is significantly closer to her talent level she's averaging 53.7 this year including three half centuries she now has a century to go with that and she's been not out on three occasions for this west indies team so that is a lot closer and if you look at for example the last seven matches where she's averaging into the 90s significantly better than just this year so she's even getting better at the back end of this year and the two performances against the very best team in the world australia i think is testament to the improvement that she is well the improvements that she is making and has made over the course of this year she speaks to the captaincy and the fact that the added responsibility that she's taken on has helped her to perform better and that is fantastic to see and one quick point a lot of credit must go to stefani taylor as well for this victory because there was a point of the chase where it appeared to me at least that Haley Matthews was getting a little bit tired. Stefani Taylor had scored 20 of her first 22 deliveries um, and then 39 of the last 19. When she was needed to step up the pace today, she was able to do it. And Stefani Taylor has not always been able to do that and definitely not in recent memory especially when you consider that this is her first t20 international half century since 2019 well she, she has made... struggled with injuries yeah, and that she... has really hampered her yeah that, without a doubt her. so the injuries you put that in you put that into the equation as well as the fact that she had well she had a, a long period out because of the injuries and then of course when she came back into the side um, she would have struggled to to regain her best self um, but it was great to see today her finding her groove and playing the types of shots that in the past i think pre-2019 we would see a lot of from stefani taylor and i think it, it, it can only mean well for West Indies women's cricket. And Lance, you're very much right. These two are so critical yes. to any positive result for the West Indies women. Because the truth is, while I watched that match and while I watched the chase for a long time, especially early, I got the impression, yeah, this is a fantastic Hayley Matthews innings. Um, but I feel as if it's going to come to nothing because if she gets out now or if Stefani gets out now, that's it. But thankfully, they were able to continue. Although, quickly, if the West Indies had found themselves in Australia's position and lost that match, the main thing that we would be talking about today is the chances that they put down because the Australians dropped Haley Matthews three times 30, 79 and 87. Had they taken any of those catches, it would have been a different match. They also dropped Stefani Taylor when she was on 20. Had that opportunity been taken, this was the first one when she was on 30. You, you don't often see the Aussies put down chances like that. That was a chance that should have been taken. She was only on 30 and I think the Australians will be extremely disappointed 
that they did not take their opportunities. That was Stefani Taylor, her opportunity when she was on 20. Let's invite uh, Brittany Cooper, uh, a West Indies player with uh, 76 uh, T20 internationals uh, behind her belt to the conversation. Brittany, it's a pleasure to have you on the Sports Mag Zone. Talk to us about how you felt about the performance from the West Indies women this morning. Hi, Joyce. Thanks for having me on the Sports Mag Zone. It was really, really good to know to see the, the outcome of the game. As you said, you know, the first um, game, they, they, they performed well, but they did not come out with the win. But to see that they chased such a, a big score in Australia against Australia, you know, be it a, a West Indian place, is a really good feeling. Yeah, yeah, fantastic feeling. And Haley Matthews, um, you would know a little bit about her. Talk to us uh, about the type of individual Haley Matthews is and how much you rate her as a cricketer. Well, we know that since in, uh, Haley Matthews got cut and see her game has changed, her game has evolved because there's added responsibility now. We know that, you know, when Hayley Matthews now came into the game, she was uh, free, she was uh, free to, you know, just go there and enjoy and play the cricket. But now the, 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 the responsibility of being the captain is see how much that it has improved her game so, so much. And she, she just, like, loving the, 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 the chance that she's getting to lead West Indies woman right now. And she's doing a great job at it, Brittany. Lance and Ricardo, uh, at the top of the show, when we were discussing you know, among ourselves, they spoke about the fact that in order for West Indies women to do well with the bat, we expect players like Haley Matthews and Stefani Taylor and a few others to step up and, of course, get us to that total. Do you agree with them, one? And two, are you concerned now that Shabika Gajnabi, she's played two T20 matches in that opening position, come up with scores of zero and one? Well, as we can all see, we know the team is going through a transition period where a lot of younger players are coming into the senior team. So I think that you know, we, as fans, we need to allow that transition to happen. We, we expect that, you know, when a player gets promoted, like the likes of Gajnabi, that, you know, they are to perform as soon as possible. But Gajnabi is a very, very talented player, and she is now uh, the opening batter for, for, for West Indies women. We know that West Indies women have been searching for that um, that seeded um, opening partner with Haley because we have Rashada, me, at uh, a point in time since uh, DeAngelo Dutton left us. So I think, you know, we just need to give uh, Sunika Gajnabi uh, a little more time and you know, allow her to, to grow into that opening role. Yeah, looking forward to see her because I also know the quality that she possesses. But you do know when you're on the highest level, you're judged very, very tough. So we're looking forward to see her put up some scores on her bat. What about Stefani Taylor? We've missed this Stefani Taylor for some time. I felt as if I was out there batting when Steph was getting those runs. You know, as you mentioned earlier, um, you know, she had an injury. We saw that in the World Cup that she did not get to perform, you know. Being a, a, a batter, an opening batter with a back injury is going to be very difficult. And I'm so happy that to, you know, to see her getting back into the Stefani Taylor that we know the class. I mean, you also see that, you know, she brings power in her game so it's good to see that you know there's a, a little um more comfort in uh, the middle order i've always said that you know one thing is either stefani should open in the batting or she should be coming at three so i'm really really happy to, to see you know she's getting back into that that stefani taylor that we know yeah Brittany, quickly um ricardo questioned you earlier about your rating of of Haley and her development but I want you to expand a little bit on it because um, you had played with her as a as a teammate um, but then you returned to international cricket in January when the tri-series with South Africa and India and uh, played under her as a captain so can you speak briefly on her maturity and your experience with her um, with her as captain as opposed to when she was just a regular player? 
I believe that those things that Haley Matthews have with those fans, right, the WBBL, the 100, the woman of Premier League, the fact that she's getting to play cricket at such a high level is showing that how much her cricket has improved. We see it in the 100 earlier, the coming out of that offside shots that she has, you see how Clearly, she's been hitting the ball to cover, extra cover. So he's really, really building her confidence whenever she plays in uh, those um, franchises across the world. And one thing I love about her is that whenever she returns, she always shares her experience. And it so shows that so much she's learning for uh, the Aussies, the Indian, the, the England, those other top teams in women's cricket that she's showing the class, you know, that, you know, Hilly Matthew can... Yeah, and you know what? I heard the commentators mentioning earlier on, of course, they felt threatened by the fact that she was taking a game from the Australian, the game away from the Aussies this morning. But the Melbourne Renegades franchise, who have re-signed her for the Big Bash coming up, are, are licking their chops at the moment, Brittany, because they're seeing a player that's in form and ready for Big Bash cricket for the Melbourne Renegades. Yes, the number one all rounder in the world. She's making runs. She's taking a wicket. She's also an excellent uh, fielder, and she is a leader on the team. So who wouldn't want Hilly matches on their team? Yeah, very much the case. Uh, one quick one, Brittany, before you go. Um, and the commentators lamented this throughout the course of the chase. Um, Hayley Matthews, brilliant through the offside. Um, if you look at her performance today, 24s and 5 sixes, 19 of those 25 boundaries came through or over the offside. Yet the Aussies did not plug the offside field by having a sweeper on the point or cover boundary. Um, were you surprised that they took so long? Um, I think it wasn't it wasn't until the penultimate over that they made the decision to have a sweeper on the offside. Um, were you surprised that they took so long to pick up what was happening? I think it's a, a gutsy decision by the Australian. We know they just go there and be free and play the cricket and they back the serve that they could have pinned down Hilly from scoring on the offside. But when I see it just the, the left arm orthodox come to ball, I know that would have been cake for Hilly Matthews because she have that back foot punch over extra cover cover so nicely. So I, I was happy that, you know, they, they, they felt that, you know, they could have pinned uh, Hilly Matthews down from scoring on that offside. Yes, yeah, stubborn Aussies. Thank you very much, <laughs> Brittany Cooper. It's a pleasure having you on the Sports Mag Zone and we looking we look forward to speaking with you a lot more for sure. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. All right, uh, Brittany Cooper mm -hmm. there, West Indies uh, women's player. Now, the series decider will be live on your home of champions. Can Haley Matthews lead her troops to a series win over the Aussies down under? Catch the action live 4.05 a.m. in the Eastern Caribbean. That's 3.05 in Jamaica on Thursday.